Welcome to Animal Wise, where today we look at the Komodo dragon, a living dinosaur which is beautiful and fearsome in equal measure. The Komodo dragon, also known as the Komodo monitor, is an impressive and mysterious reptile. It's the largest of the world's lizards and attacks with a dangerous bite which is potentially lethal. But do you know why they are so dangerous? Could it simply be due to their size and strength? Perhaps the danger is something less obvious. Let's continue to see. The Komodo dragon lives in Indonesia, specifically on the islands of Komodo, Flores, Rinka, Hili Motang, and Hili Dasami. The Komodo islands are so associated with this animal, they are collectively known as the Dragon Kingdom. Today, they also live in captivity across the globe in zoos, wildlife sanctuaries, and research centers. They should never be kept as pets as their trade is illegal and they are far too dangerous. The Komodo dragon belongs to the reptile order known as Squamata, the largest reptile order, and are in the Varanidae family. They are the largest lizard which currently exists. They have an average length of between 2 and 3 meters, an average width of about 70 kilograms, although males have been recorded up to 90 kilograms, and they can live up to 50 years. They have a long and strong tail, large claws, and quite peculiar teeth. There are about 60 teeth in their mouths, which measure about 2.5 centimeters in length, and are covered in gingival tissue. Another fascinating curiosity about these reptiles is that they can reproduce both sexually and via parthenogenesis, i.e. they do not always need a male to reproduce. Komodos are carnivorous lizards which hunt a varied range of animals and there have even been cases where they have hunted humans. However, they are not only carnivorous predators, but they are also scavengers which eat all parts of prey animals including flesh, viscera, and even the bones. Komodo dragons can eat up to 70% of their own body weight in one sitting. They are also cannibalistic animals, sometimes eating the offspring of other Komodos and the carrion of relatives. They have even been known to dig up and eat human corpses. Until a few years ago, it was believed that Komodo dragons killed only by brute force due to the strength of their jaws or by secondary infection. This is because their mouths contain an immense amount of bacteria which would lead to sepsis and potential death. More recent studies by various universities have revealed that, although the saliva contains more than 50 strains of bacteria, it also contains a substance that acts as poison when it enters the bloodstream of its prey. The Komodo carries two specific substances which can cause death. One is an anticoagulant. This causes the blood to keep flowing out of a wound without scabbing over, leading the animal to bleed out. The other is a hypersensitive substance which has the effect of increasing blood pressure and blood flow. This causes the heart to pump blood faster and bleeding out even more quickly. All this means the Komodo dragon is indeed venomous. It doesn't only kill via force alone, but a combination of the initial attack, the harmful bacteria which reside in their saliva, and the toxic substances which are transferred to the prey during a bite. If the prey does not die from an initial attack, they will end up dying after bleeding out or due to septic shock after a generalized infection. If you are bitten by a Komodo dragon but manage to evade the initial attack, you are not yet out of danger since the venom and bacteria will be introduced to your blood. If you manage to escape a Komodo attack but have been bitten, you need to get emergency medical attention. There are recorded cases of adults who have survived attacks by these reptiles, but only when they have received immediate medical attention. The main course of treatment includes constant drainage of the wound, strong antibiotics and daily monitoring. Komodos are currently listed as a vulnerable species as their population is reduced by diverse causes, many the fault of human interactions. They include habitat destruction, hunting of their natural prey, global pollution, and Komodos being killed when they encroach in human settlements looking for food. Although this is their current situation, there are many conservationists and volunteers who work tirelessly to keep the species alive and increase wild populations. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like, 
And don't forget to subscribe for more content to come. We'll see you next time.